What's up guys, McRafter here. We're about to go over five things that you need to know about Mortal Shell, the upcoming action RPG Souls-like game from Cold Symmetry. We're also gonna show you 10 minutes of raw uncut gameplay that was just released this week and features the new shell called Teal, which is a really fun and fast assassin type shell. Finally, we're also gonna give you details on how you can get into the closed beta on July 3rd. One really important thing to understand about Mortal Shell and determine if you're interested in this game is that this is a single player game only. This is a very small development team and while they are putting together a very polished looking product, they do not have the resources to put together a full PvP component with invasions like you see in Dark Souls and Bloodborne and so forth, um, or have a co-op system as well. So while those are things that the development team would like to do, it's not something that's planned for the launch of the game, but it's something potentially you could see in later DLC maybe. But if you're looking to be a sun bro, you're gonna have to praise the sun alone in Mortal Shell. In terms of replay and overall value, Mortal Shell looks to be stacking up quite nicely. The developers think that the average playthrough will take between 15 or 20 hours, which is really, really good, given that this is a very small development team. For completionists, your first playthrough could take 40 plus hours, according to the devs. Also, and very importantly, they have an NG plus mode, which adds to difficulty every subsequent run and will allow you to unlock new abilities and apparently new secrets from the game. But the developers were very tight lipped about what those are, but more to come on that. Combat is a make or break feature in any Souls-like game and Mortal Shell is no exception there. What is very interesting about Mortal Shell's take on this genre though, is the concept of the shell. You can unlock up to four shells in the game and each of them plays differently than the next. There is a tank-like shell, there's a, a sort of a, a hybrid shell, there's a fast shell, and there's one other shell that the dev hasn't talked anything about, we have no clue what it is. What we do know is that there's no ranged or magic builds in this game. So if you want to be a wizard in Mortal Shell, so sorry. If you want to play Bow Souls, you can't play that in this game. This is a purely melee game. Now, each shell has its own unique look and unique upgrades and abilities, and it will play out differently. We haven't played the full game yet. Nobody has, so we don't know exactly how that all shakes out. But we are under the understanding from the developers' comments that there is a lot of variety in attacks and upgrades, passive abilities, active abilities. The shells really define the whole gameplay. In addition to unlocking shells, you'll also be able to unlock various weapons, which you can mix and match with any shell that you like. And of course, as is standard in the action RPG genre, you have a health bar and a stamina bar that you have to manage to, and also some additional abilities that you can build up over time that allow you to parry or use other special attacks. And for the challenge run junkies out there, you can apparently even play through the entire game with no shell whatsoever, which puts you pretty much at a one hit kill throughout the entire game. So if you want that extra challenge that is there for you, the developer also mentioned that there are additional ways to make the game harder than the base game. However, they did not disclose what those exactly are just yet. As important as combat is, if there aren't good bosses in a Souls-like game or any action RPG, it's probably not gonna be a good game. What we've seen so far on bosses has been limited, but they do look very cool. There are several enemies now in various trailers for Mortal Shell that appear to be bosses, and if they are, they look really, really cool, and I cannot wait to fight them. A couple other exciting things that we know about the Mortal Shell bosses is that, is that there will be many bosses in the game and optional bosses that you have to discover. So there's a lot of very cool content waiting for us once this game launches. Speaking of the game launching, we do know that the release date for Mortal Shell is quarter three, 2020, which is really just around the corner if you think about it. It's going to launch simultaneously on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. It will be a timed exclusive for PC players on the Epic Game Store only. Eventually, it will make its way to the Steam platform, but that's not slated until 2021. The developers have not confirmed whether or not there will be physical copies for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. They would like to do it if they can, but they're still doing a lot of optimization on the console builds, and so more to come on that issue. The closed beta for Mortal Shell is just around the corner on July 3rd. It is PC only, and it is a closed beta, so you do have to get a CD key through some avenue. We're gonna be giving away several keys through this channel, so don't forget to subscribe, and we will have a video later that will detail how you can enter that giveaway. In the meantime, though, we are about to show you 10 minutes of raw and uncut gameplay that was just released this week. Very exciting stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one.
Eager for another taste, foundling. Not so hasty. Not all places are as friendly as Fulcrum. There won't be any merriment around a bonfire here. Only the dead call this place home. All that remains are scavengers gnawing on bones. An intruder like yourself will not be welcome. So then, would you like another sip? it behold no monster other than an utter lack of meaning. The visage of a razor-thin line between existence and non-existence. And nothing in between. back his blackened fingers, he drew a sigil of ash beneath my eyes. The soot burned against my cheeks, growing hotter with each word of purification.
Grisha. Many died dragging that beast down here. He served as a slave, a guardian, that they would worship unfettered, enshrined in ice. Can you blame them? The perversity of living has always been its ever-changing nature. So, then, would you like another sip? The consecrated fires revealed cinders and shadows. But beneath it all, no monsters, no gods, only oblivion. 